Security has been heightened at landmarks throughout our nation's capital, including the Capitol building, which itself was put on lockdown this afternoon. Our Washington correspondent, Ted Fioraliso, picks up that part of the story. I'm coming to you from inside the Senate briefing room. The Senate was actually put on lockdown this afternoon as a security precaution, and we're not quite sure when that might be lifted. Now, everyone from the president to members of Congress are speaking out about today's tragedy. This is what the Washington Navy Yard looks like on a normal day. Our cameras were there for a naval retirement back in May. But today was anything but normal. Police swarmed the Navy Yard located in southeast Washington, D.C. shortly after 8.15 this morning for reports of a shooting there. Little would they know, hours later, at least a dozen people would be confirmed dead. President Obama appeared at a previously scheduled press conference to discuss the five-year anniversary of the recession. He said he was briefed about the situation at the Navy Yard and called for a, quote, seamless investigation so that federal and local officials can work together. We are confronting... Uh, yet another mass shooting. And today it happened on a military installation in our nation's capital. Uh, it's a shooting that targeted our military and civilian personnel. Throughout Washington, a heightened security presence. At the Capitol building, extra police officers patrolled the grounds. House and Senate office buildings were open most of the day. The Senate was scheduled to return to work this afternoon, but then Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid took the floor to make these brief remarks. But in light of the events at the Navy Yard, uh, we've decided to uh, recess the Senate until tomorrow morning. Many members of Congress took to social media to respond to the shootings. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand tweeted, My thoughts and prayers are with the victims of today's tragic Navy Yard shooting and their families. And Congressman Tom Reid released this statement, quote, as we continue to follow developments in Washington, D.C. at the Navy Yard, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and all those impacted by this senseless violence. As always, we thank our first responders and law enforcement personnel on the scene today. Both the House and Senate are scheduled to be back in session tomorrow. Reporting in Washington, I'm Ted Fioraliso. All right, thanks, Ted. And Erie's Catholic bishop not happy with the results of an audit conducted at St. Peter Cathedral Parish. The parish is a half million dollars in debt, so the bishop 